comes the pace truck. It's going to make the hard left down pit lane. Austin Beers, Justin Bonsignor, green flag is out. The checkered flag, dot com 150 is underway. All of the cars fire off back to turns one and two. The inside line prevails off of turn two. Austin Beers in command of the top spot. Ron Silk following his tire tracks. Lenny, we are two wide coming off of turn number four. Brother back, that's Kyle Bonsignor. And the five car, Kyle Everson, makes a milestone start here this evening. 50th career NASCAR start here for the Wheel and Modified Tour. He's got Bonsignor five. Bonsignor going inside of Silk right here on camera. That's a battle for the runner-up spot as they exit the front straightaway. Justin Bonsignor goes to P2 here. He gets around the silver bullet, car number 16. That's a good pass, Lenny. And here comes Kyle Bonsignor. He's looking on as well. He saw his cousin get around the 16. He says, hey, I want to do the same thing. Just 24 laps on the board now. Still a lot of laps to go, but everybody's trying to get their way to the front as they chase right now Austin Beers, who leads this event. Can't do anything quite yet. He's just following his tire tracks. Runs about a half a higher now through turns one and two now he cuts down to the bottom do we see a battle for second yes we do kyle bonsignor goes to the inside he'll take over the half third or runner up spot i should say that's second place is kyle bonsignor the difference about four tenths of a second or it's just about three car lengths they come off of turn number four so indeed kyle bonsignor appears caution to caution on the speedway we've got one turn right here in front of us that's five field Melissa Fifield puts us under our first caution flag of the evening. It happens here. Are we close the... enough to lap 90? We're at 85. Are they going to throw this as the caution? It could very well be the case here at lap number 85 for the NASCAR Wheel and Modified Tour. Melissa Fifield goes for a spin coming off of turn number four. She barely keeps it off the wall, and she did tap the inside retaining wall. It wasn't by much just ahead of the NASCAR Advanced Auto Parts Weekly Series billboard here on the front stretch. Here we go for the race restart. It will be now 58 laps to go when we get the green flag. Who is going to win the checkered flag? Not got 150. We're going to find out. Austin Pierce, and we've got the uh, green flag back out. We're racing once more in Hampton. Lenny, we're side by side from second all the way back. Jake Johnson's coming on. Wow, Austin Beers got a heck of a start there. And uh, he's going to need to because that group behind him is now charging forward. And Jake Johnson, I mean, if we had a hard charger award right now, Johnson would be doing it. And we've got more action out there in the back. Here comes Bonsignor. The Nerf bar is out. He doesn't have to use it. He's got the bottom lane right now. He'll stuff it down in the inside. Wheel to wheel action. Bonsignor here on Flow Racing TV. This is what NASCAR Roots competition is about. And now a new leader in the NASCAR Wheel and Modified Tour heading towards start finish. Kyle Bonsignor, brand new race leader, four laps to go. Can Austin Beers do the crossover move? He can't quite catch him. One car length separates first to second. Kyle Bonsignor has not led many laps. This will just be his second time at the head of the field, or second lap, that is, with three more circuits to turn. you got to believe Austin Beers is giving it everything he can. Get it to the back bumper as they race off a of two. Yes, indeed. Kyle Bonsignor leading. Here comes Beers, though. One more shot at it. He puts a shot in the shorts on Bonsignor, but Bonsignor won't give it up. He's leading here, coming out of two. Good Saturday night short tracking here in Hampton, Virginia. Kyle Bonsignor has just taken over the top spot. He started this event in fourth position. He'll see the white flag just four tenths of a mile to go. It is right now Kyle Bonsignor over Austin Beers. Kyle Bonsignor has got the crowd on their feet as he tries to hold on to his first win in more than four years. Austin Beers, the young kid out of Pennsylvania, wraps him up coming through the corner, but Kyle Bonsignor wins Langley. Kyle Bonsignor picks up his first win since 2018 at Larry King Law's Langley Speedway. He'll defeat Austin Beers, who dominated this race and led more than 140 laps. But in the end, Kyle Bonsignor gets it done and leads that most important lap. That is the 150th circuit. And what a great battle it was here with just 10 to go.